there, it's Little Fox Simmer, but you can call me HK. Today we're kicking off our Simstober celebrations by doing a little bit of CC shopping. I will be honest, I wasn't sure exactly how to best format this video because I've never done a CC haul. And I found out that I had trouble keeping track of what I had showed so far. So this might end up becoming more of a sampling of what I got but the full list of everything I got is linked down below. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna be talking about a little bit of festive fun that I have planned for you guys. And it's nothing much, but it is just a little token of appreciation for you guys for sticking with me. So stay tuned until the end if you want to find out more about that. In the CC haul, I wanted to grab a bunch of different things. So I have create a sim, build by, poses, edible foods, loading screens, backgrounds, just a variety of different things. And the first one we're exploring together is create a sim. That's where the majority of the CC in this video will probably be. To test out some of the CC I got for cast, I ended up using my CC'd version of Lilith Vitor, where I just gave her a little bit of a makeover, but I was really, really proud of that and I don't get to see her a lot. I figured what better way to celebrate spooky season and to try out this spooky CC with my Lilith that I hardly ever get to use. When I first started looking for items to feature in this video, I couldn't find anything and I found out it was because I was actually searching the wrong words and looking in the wrong places for it. What I found if you guys decide to go searching on your own is searching up Cymberline, like the actual event that happens, which if you don't know the event, it's basically like a gifting event during two different weekends and it's a really cool thing. These creators eventually go and release these items. So if you search it, you'll be able to find some of those older gifts so then what happened is I ended up collecting all this CC and it's verging a little bit on too much CC for me, which I, I never expected myself to say, but it's like when you have all these gigantic CC sets for Halloween and you have many different creators across many different years, it starts to get a little much. You know, it's a little harder to navigate around Cass and around Build By. So I would probably not go as overboard as I did, but if you do, just be prepared to search. Of all the CC I found, I'm especially fond of the occult eyes. I really think that the occult CC, some of the creators that make them are just brilliant. Like they look perfect in game. The antennas are the same thing where it just looks so natural and so good. Ultimately, I think one of the cool things about downloading all this occult CC and Cymberline CC is that Unless you're like huge into occult gameplay, it challenges you to download things and to see all these really cool CC items that you wouldn't normally gravitate towards. So relating back to before where I said that this was probably going to end up being a sampling of what I got. I should expand upon that and say that there are a ridiculous amount of sets of items I have. So. There's build buy sets, cast sets, and it's just so hard to keep track of. Did I get every single piece of this set? What is 67 links is way more cast items because you have multiple items in a set. So I definitely ended up missing some items both in cast and in build buy. So please, 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 I encourage you. If you like something or you notice something that you like, please check out the links. Give the creator some love and look at what they have to offer because there is so many beautiful items out there by these talented creators. There's definitely some items in some of these build sets that I would end up keeping in my game. Like the decorative books that are piled on the floor would be amazing in some sort of like old library. And I can imagine like a library covered in plants and books everywhere and I don't know, I love that aesthetic. There's quite a few build items that I featured that are actually a part of the pose sets, which I'll get into those in a minute. But there's some beautiful items that are a part of pose sets that I would do just for set dressing and photos as well. It is absolutely stunning. Lastly, I also want to point out one of the little cute items, and it's just a small, like, two-piece item set, um, but I, I think I just count it as regular build by. But it's these little yoga skeletons, and they're so, like, <laughs> just so cute. I don't know how else to describe them. They're adorable. Anyways, moving on to poses, there are three poses that I ended up showcasing, and I have a lot of different pose sets that I put on the list, and I apologize for that. So the three poses are actually from two sets, but there's so much work that goes into the posing of Sims, which if you've done like storytelling or if you do poses for your Sims gallery walls or whatever, you know how much work they are. So basically what I did is I went through and I just looked really briefly at 
the packs and I was like, oh, what's some cute poses to show off? And then I grabbed my version of the goth family that I had CC'd up for my own game and my CC'd up version of Lilith Vator, and I made a sim from scratch using some of the CC that I had downloaded, and I basically put them in those poses. So now we're moving on to custom food, and I want to take a second to just appreciate this, because I was like, I, I kept seeing people go and download food CC for the game, and I was like, oh, that's, that's cool. I probably won't though, that just seems like a waste of space. Nope total game changer and i mean it like with full honesty if you haven't downloaded custom food for your game definitely give it a shot if you haven't already because it's one of those things that i think you don't realize how much you would need or like that until you actually have it in your game it, it's just so cute and even small little things like cute breakfasts and you know birthday cakes they offer a variety of new cakes now that you can just pop candles on and it changes it up so much from just the generic chocolate cake generic vanilla cake and it makes it feel so much more personalized the two food makers that i have featured in the cc haul is icy spicy scalpel and little bobub and i want to highlight little bobub especially because it is so 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 good there's so many different varieties and what i love about this like as someone who now is having a problem by having far too much custom food is that they have a separate item to hold all their custom food needs which is absolutely amazing because it keeps the menu so much tidier and then you have that just that one item interaction and it's all sorted for you like when i go to use other custom recipes and stuff sometimes it's in the same cook catalog and and sometimes there's like a whole new tab thing that's like custom recipes and there's absolutely no shame in that but when you start to compile more and more custom recipes that's when it starts to get a little bit clogged so having that separate item makes it so much more organized and i'm able to find things super fast because of it i would also like to point out that this creator also has a link that i got because you know i can't resist custom foods that has every single recipe that they've released and so i linked all the separate foods but there's so much more and i would just honestly i would get all the recipes so that way you have the item and the recipes and then you have the ability to make whatever you want i think they even have some christmas themed ones they have a lot of different varieties of foods at the very beginning of the video i talked about how i was gonna reveal a special festive surprise that I was going to be giving you guys. And this was a last minute idea, but I figured that it might be a nice sort of little Halloween fun to share my towny makeover of Lilith. So if you enjoy Lilith, you can have her in your game. She'll be up in my gallery. My gallery ID is Little Fox Summer, and there is a list with all the names of the CC that she has. However, I wanted to do a little bit of fun and a little bit of mischief with it. So the link to her CC list is actually hidden somewhere on the Google document for this video. And the hint that I'm going to give you to find it is that you need to stake the vampire. If you guys do end up downloading Lilith, I do hope that you guys enjoy her. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see. And until next time, I hope you have a stellar day.